All right, what's up E36 bros uh, and people who aspire to have an E36 or have had one or just here because you're watching videos. That's uh, either way, anything's all good. So we're gonna do real quickly here, do the trans fluid change and the diff. And I don't think we need three, but I bought three just to be safe. Uh, so we're gonna do the differential change and um, I'm not gonna do like a flush. I'm just gonna dump it and put the new stuff in and call it a day. And so what I have is, uh, I think this is pretty much recommended, Redline D4 ATF, uh, which also works on manual transmission. So uh, where I always get all this stuff, I get it from FCP Euro uh, and they have a kit. So it gets two, two new, uh, two new plugs for the, actually I got this backwards, because like this. Two new uh, transmission uh, plugs, and I'll put in the description a link to where I bought this stuff. And then two new differential plugs. Uh, one is the drain plug and one is the fill plug. Should be pretty simple. And then we'll use, bought a couple of these goofy little crappy transfer pumps. And what I always do with these is I just throw them away. As soon as I'm done with it, just chunk it in the trash and uh, get a new one for the next time. Um, you know, considering it costs you whatever, 50 bucks to change your diff fluid to spend another 10 on a pump and then get a new one every time you do this is, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not the, the most frugal way to do it, but to me, it seems to make sense. Because these pumps, to try to clean it out, it's just not worth the pain. So I think we can just push this tubing on. It's been a while since I've used one of these. A lot of times what I've done in the past is I've just, I used to have like a, a cap that I had a tube in and I would just squeeze the bottle out, but um, these should do the trick, hopefully. I can probably, I'm going to cut some of this tube off as well, um, so we'll do that for each of these. So let's do the trans first, uh, and then we'll do the uh, diff second. So let's get up in here and see what we're working with. Okay, I'm doing this by myself here today. Friday night, so Friday afternoon. So what I've got is transmission. I had it right in the first place. These are the transmission bolts. So transmission, and I guess you should replace them if you take them out. So there's the drain bolt, and the fill bolt is up here. And the interesting thing, what's so cool about the Scott and his dry ice stuff, the sticker's still on there, but it says ATF oil exclamation point. And uh, it gives you a BMW part number, and so that's part of the reason why, I guess, we're using our, all, um, that uh, ATF fluid. And then there's no CDV on this, but I've got a new clutch line. And then the clutch slave. What is the slave? I don't know if you get this slave from the inside. I don't know much about that. I've never in my entire life ever done anything with a clutch. Um, I never changed one. The only one I've ever done was on the S2000 where I had, uh, I had John from uh, LHT do that for me on my S2000. But uh, let me get my drain pan, get this in position, pop this off, pop that off, and good to go. Okay, let's take these puppies off. Let's see what size this is. All my 3 8 tools are next door. Let's take our drain bolt off. I got the car up a little high. I should probably put it down, but I really don't want to duck. Let's take our, our drain bolt off or our fill bolt off first. I think that's a pretty standard procedure. I got my new stock X brakes put on. And so, these have been on here for probably 25 years. I wonder if it's ever been changed. <sighs> Hopefully we can get this off in reasonable fashion. I'm gonna need a breaker bar. Still has the yellow paint on it, so I doubt this has ever been changed. There we go. taught me once that take the drain or take the fill bolt off first that way if there's an issue with stripping or something at least you can drive it to where it needs to go I don't know if that's the right way to do it but I've kind of stuck with that philosophy since I probably read it on the forum so there shouldn't be much that pours out of this if any out of this 
fill bolt. Nope, nothing. <clears throat> now it's going to come pouring out. But yeah, the 36 is coming together, man. I'm about ready to ready to go drive it around. About ready. I've been ready to go drive it around. Use the purple stuff. I didn't use my head. Give me some paper towels. So then, if you're not familiar with a manual transmission, most transmissions. It's a little different with an automatic, you'd have to flush it, so you'd have to change the oil, drive it around, I think is the standard procedure. But uh, what I'll do is then I'll, I'll put this bolt back on once it's done drip, dripping out here. And um, we'll put the bolt back in and we'll fill it until it starts to run out of here. And then that's the, you know, the level, because there's no, as far as I'm aware, there's no dipstick. I haven't actually read the service manual on this, but I'm assuming it's like every other BMW and every other car has manual transmission. I'm sure you'll let me know if it's not. It seems pretty simple. But um, I don't think we put the video up on the channel yet, uh, but Ed did the short shifter, so I have the UUC, uh, that little, uh, little shaft, I forget what that thing's called, and then the uh, UUC short shifter kit. And then I have the ZCP shift knob or ZHP shift knob and new shift boot. And so all this up in here is nice and nice and dialed. The little shift linkage thing, that little metal shift boot or shift, uh, I forget what it's freaking called. You know what I'm talking about. So that's done. So this is the, one of the last steps is to change up the fluids. I've already done the oil, I've already done the coils, I've done the, so the coil packs, I've done the, the plugs. We'll do the diff here in a minute, and then this puppy is going to get the front bumper put back. Well, Ed has to finish up the wiring for the cooling system. It's just uh, we got to ground it to a different spot. The ground wasn't wasn't working, but the, the, um, the yellow tag, uh, whatever you call it, shift uh, or um, steering, steering rack is done. Uh, the other thing I got to do is I'm going to pull off these uh, these control arms, the lower control arms for the front, and do the uh, the Dyna monoball kit. Uh, so this ball joint will help with steering, deflection, and stuff like that. So we got to put the press those out and put those on. Zeb's going to do that. I think Tuesday. I don't have a press. Uh, I bought one and then I gave it away. So I probably need to get another one. Uh, but this car's coming together, and obviously it's super clean from the dry ice cleaning. Um, wheels and tires are good. Uh, I'm going to take the wheels back off once I get my mounter and balancer set up next week and uh, we'll balance, rebalance these because after I coated them I had to move the wheel or I had to move the actually we had them mounted and balanced then I coated them but then I had to move the weights because they were hitting the larger calipers uh, and so then they wouldn't stick. And so I'm going to have to polish off the barrel of the wheel, rebalance them, recoat the barrel of the wheel and uh, redo that. So something I've, I've got to do here shortly. Okay, so let's put our new drain bolt in. It won't make a huge mess pumping this. Yeah, I mean with the yellow, unless you, unless they put the uh, unless they put the same bolt back on or put yellow paint on it. I I wonder if this has ever been changed. I mean the car has thirty six thousand miles on it, so this may be original bolts. I think we can get by on a drain bolt. Just uh, tightening up my feel. All you E36 dorks can go somewhere else if you want to complain. Feels about right. A little quick little. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, now let's fill her up. Now there's two, two quarts in a kit. So my guess is it takes, you know, one and one and change. Let's just set this in here. 
I shortened up. Hope I didn't make it too short. Yeah, that's good. I shortened up our tubes so I didn't have to deal with it too much. Should be good there. Just shorten it up enough so that it fits in the bottom. Nice and easy. And so what we'll do is we'll keep transferring until it starts to run back out. Second court. Got so much smarter in my old age, I would have never cut those tubes down to make it a little easier, more manageable length. Go. Perfect. And just rip that run flush. You can see why I just get a new, just throw that tube away. So that'll run so it levels off, and then we'll put the, put the bolt back in, and we're good. And we shift and smooth as butter. Short shifts. I like it when the plan comes together. Certainly better doing it on the lift than laying on my back. I gotta take that sticker off that thing. So I need some dry ice. So we're gonna have our dry ice figured out here shortly where I have ice on tap, almost. Ice coming in regularly. So we just have to let that drain off there. Well, looks like we're about good. It's gonna be overfilled. I just ruined the car. There was still about 20 drips left. I put the plug in. I'm okay with it though. I'm okay with driving a ruined, ruined, not torque to spec E36. I'm really interested to see how this car turns out for me. Am I going to love it? Am I going to like it? Am I going to hate it? Am I going to get rid of it? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good too. Just get a little brake cleaner and we'll move on to the next. Well, I left my brake cleaner cleaner next door. This is some carb cleaner. Same, same idea. How clean that thing looks, man. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna like this car more because it's so freaking clean. All right, so we're gonna move this out, clean it up here and toss it. So let me just dump this out. Dump that out. I gotta get a new one of these. Oh, dang, what am I doing? Ouch. I walked right into the tire. Dang it. Okay, almost did it again. Now, let's do the diff, which is fill bolt, Drain bolt. It's gonna take 75 weight gear oil. Shoot, I'm not even gonna fit that in there, am I? I don't think I have what I need. All right, good news. I've got the uh, Sonic filter kit. So this is a H14, uh, which is part of the oil, oil and diff transmission kit, which is a really odd size. And uh, the 14 millimeter hex bits are too long to fit in this gap. Uh, and so luckily I've got this little guy 
Hopefully I can apply enough torque to get this thing off of here. The three eighths. <clears throat> Did that break loose or did that just come out yet? Yeah, broke loose. These are snap type. And these have a crush washer, but my new ones have an O ring seal. So I don't think I need that crush washer. Yeah, so the new ones I bought in the FCP kit. See that? And that's the, the stock one. The old one. There's no O-ring behind there. So when you have a crush washer like that, I think you should think about breaking it loose, not when you apply constant pressure. It just it doesn't like to tight loosen. So you just snap it like that. And I have a feeling this is gonna shoot out here. So let's bring this thing as far this way as possible. And let it rip. Turns out my Sonic special handy dandy um, oil change kit has a very specific, it's 14 millimeter, not. See how this is tight up here? There's not a lot of room, you can't, it can't fit. Like, you know, all those hex bits have a big long post. And, uh, you know, and a half inch, half inch ratchet won't fit up there either. And then of course I don't have a, you know, 12, 14 millimeter, what you call it, mm -hmm. you know, little hex, yeah. little Allen key set. Yeah. So, a little fancy kit turned in, uh, turned out to be nice. This flu looks pretty darn golden, and beautiful it's there. Good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Although it doesn't seem like these bolts have ever come off, but I would suspect this has been changed at some point. If not, if I mean, not, probably every single owner that's gotten it. Yeah. It just didn't seem like it because the, uh, the transmission bolts had yellow paint on it still. It looked like it was from the factory. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what the collectors that owned this before said some secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's their secret trick to make you think that it's... Exactly. I can't wait to have a, you know, a dry bin. I was thinking about it. You know, if it's a couple hundred bucks or 500 pounds, mm -hmm. if I get one a month... It's 2400 bucks a year, even though I'm going to waste like three quarters of it. I mean, the times that I have it, like right now, like that sticker on that, you know, all the way on that, that cross brace would take two seconds, just blast it off and said I'm going to be there for a half an hour scrubbing <laughs> yeah, on it. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's good enough. Let's, uh, put, let's see if these drain bolts fit because these, these bolts are a little different. I think we're okay, yeah. yeah. That's definitely good. Now, they didn't send them with a crush washer, and I think, you know, generally anytime you have an O-ring like that, you shouldn't need a crush washer, but let's hope I don't regret it. Wake up with diff fluid all over the floor. Tommy's gonna cringe, I'm going with Maddie. <laughs> Maddie Torque's back. That's good. That new bolt looks clean though, looks good. Okay, so now let's pump it in. I think it only takes like a little bit more than one. I got three just to be safe. Oh, okay. And where's the fill line on it? Or how do you know how the filter goes just until it reaches that? Yeah, until it starts spilling out. So that's why it has a drain bolt and a fill bolt. Yeah, this little thing works great. It's a little bit harder with this than the trans fluid because it's a little thicker, but piece of cake. And then, you know, the smart thing to do is just throw this thing away every time and just get a new one. Mm -hmm. Try to clean this out. You don't want to mix fluids. I used to clean them out, try to Freaky. maintain them. You know, realize that it's like freaking $8 or something like that. I mean, I spent 50 bucks on gear oil whether this needs to be done or not, it makes you feel good. Yeah, it's peace of mind. <laughs> makes you feel like you accomplished something in the world. And you can do it without making a big mess of it. You have the right stuff. Be 
be pouring out here any minute. Yeah, I didn't even look at the uh, spec. I just trusted FCP to give me the right amount, and then I always buy one extra. So maybe, maybe it does take all two. There it comes. And that's how you know. And you pull this out, and it'll come pouring out. That's a full diff. So if you think about it, this is why it's important the car's level. My car's probably not perfectly level uh, on this because there is a little bit of a pitch. But I don't think that this is an exact, like, critical thing. So actually, I should probably not let it run out. I got the mold. So that way, because we're not, because it does pitch a little on the lift. Those bolts look good. <clears throat> Seems good. Oh, look how clean that looks though. So <laughs> Got my new sway bar end links put on. You know, you probably don't need aftermarket end links like I put on, but the, uh, the issue, uh, I just felt like I was too close to this, even though this, this is gonna be replaced. So the, the new arm will be uh, a little thinner, uh, but this is where your camber adjustment is. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna take it off until we'll just do it at the shop. But this was just really, really close. And so you also have to be careful with the axle shaft here. And so uh, I just did a slight adjustment, shorten them up a tiny bit, and that way it sits in the middle. And so that's it, man. That's a good, good, good deed done. So all I gotta do, all I have to do is have Eb come finish up the cooling wiring, which I'm not qualified to do. And uh, then we'll put the front bumper back on. Get this puppy on the street, go get an alignment done. I'll drive it around for a few weeks and then we'll send it off for interior. Uh, I do want to rebalance the, the wheels too after the wheel weights fell off. All right, BMW bros, bear with me here. The lighting's kind of bright here. I'll turn that to the side a little bit. Um, this car's coming together. I, I think if you're patient with me, I've been biting my tongue. I know the forums are freaking out. I know that the YouTube comments have been very clear. Uh, sure that people have been DMing each other back and forth about how this goof bought the E36 and I'm ruining it. Um, just bear with me. I'm telling you, if you be patient with me here, um, this car's going to come out really nicely. Nice OE plus. I'm not going too aggressive with it. Uh, the key is that I want it restored. I want it to look good. I want it to drive well. I want it to sound good. Uh, and then I'll make a decision on if this is a long-term car for me or a short-term deal. Really, you know, what does it really matter? Um, but uh, I think at the end of this, I think if you're patient with me, you'll realize that uh, this is going to come together nicely and that uh, maybe I'll get your stamp of approval someday. Um, but uh, this car is uh, this car's coming together and uh, I'm really, uh, really pleased with how, how it's going. We do have to do a full correction protection on it as well. I'm not doing PPF on this car. This car's not going to be highway driving much. Um, this is going to be you know, driving back and forth from my house to HQ here, mostly to the gym, stuff like that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. I'll put in the description the uh, links to the products that I used here. And um, I'll even put that little kit. You, you do need a, a 14 millimeter uh, for this, this back section here, which I almost thought I didn't have. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. See you on the uh, next E36 video with, uh, I'm not sure what it'll be, but it'll be soon. See you soon.